Hi guys, me again. Just showing you uh, finishing my build of Visago chest break. There it is. What do you think? Behind it, there's the original color scheme off the box. There, original colors: the red and the blue. And don't much care for that blue. This kit only comes straight out the box. The only two colors, plastic, two colors of plastic are red and blue. This guy needs a lot of work. I went with the uh, the gold because in Gundam lore, you got your Shah in his red suit, and every series has to have a red suit. But and a good substitute with gold and make it a a quattro clone. It's, you know, Gundam X. The, uh, had a quattro clone as the, the captain of the ship and then the bad guy had a red suit so you know it was kind of two cl clones in that but never mind so I thought this would look good I had some gold paint lying around I thought this would look good things that I've done um, that black is metallic black I clear coated it with pearl Tommy is pearl and Tommy is metallic black you know not as good as Humbrols I think Humbrol's metallic black's amazing. Really like that. The silver, it's supposed to be enamel silver over black, glossy black. Because this isn't this is not owlclad. But I'm using that technique and I'm not using that paint. So it just kind of wear off after a while and I've gone over it with Tamiya's uh, chrome silver, hand brushed it. It's going a bit closer, it's getting dark. And I've used clear blue for the eyes there and the chest and I've used, uh, I've touched it up with some gun metal here and there on the legs for example there on the knees um, I've gone over those in the work in, the work in progress I cross coated them and they come out very nice extendable arms see if I can use the one handed breaking it. I thought I broke it a minute ago but I didn't. Just trying to do this. The piping on the arms, I just used some of a if you can see that. There we are. Some uh, clear orange. Yeah I thought why not? It's an obvious little thing I can do just to enhance it. Make it clear blue. Clear orange. It's only two colours, the clear colours I used. I used some blue and the orange I used uh, clear blue on that. The, um, the head you can see very very loose. I tried to paint the polycap and tried to you know, stiffen it up a bit and it's just not playing at all. Didn't bother painting the camera. This V fin does not want to stay in place. I might you see there's not you can sort of see it there can't you? It wants to come out. I'll fix that in a minute. The um, when I was painting the head I don't do what you guys would normally do or most people do do I um, paint the paint the face mask, then stick it into the back of the head, then put the front of the head over the top, mask off with blue tack to cover up the face mask, then paint the top of the head. And when I did it this time, the face mask fell out, so I had to do it and so do the head together, then slide the face mask up and in, and it didn't want to do it. It really didn't want to stay in there, so it might be a little bit crooked. Oh well, you're not really going to see it from you know, it's on display. Any to you, in your opinion, is that metallic red inside the thruster? It said metallic red on the can. Anyway, red in the thruster. Uh, Guy's got some slipping about issues because I've clear coated the bottom of the feet. Why? Because it was there. And it's just a bit slippy now. They all fold up and they move back. And there. Nice little chrome silver button. And there. I talked about this before in a work in progress and the V fins come completely off the doors and that opened completely by itself which is good so I can show you see what I mean about it? it's slippy 
Look at this. It's incredibly slippy, incredibly smooth. Look, I normally have them uh, on glass, a bit more friction. Let's open up the doors. I will hold you then, if you're not going to play. I used a uh, clear orange on the cannons. I stab it over to make it gold on the front. I used some chrome silver to tidy it all up. Clear blue. Silvered all that. Bit of a stain there, I don't know why. But yeah. The um, door hinges themselves, I talked about this before, I'll talk about it again because I had some more problems with it. This is a piece of plastic that it comes with, the hinge. Similar to the no grade heavy arms, but a bit better. A bit thicker, a bit stronger. Pretty good actually. You know, someone's put an ounce of thought into it. However, one snapped when I tried to not play with it, but just tried to test it, and it snapped. So I tried to glue it together, tried to fix it, focus. What is it with the cameras and not wanting to focus? Sorry about this. Anyway, you get the idea. It's missing the top. So I got out some plow plates and I made and I made my own hinges. I lassoed it. The door, glued the two bits of plow plate together. Seriously you have to flat coat the feet. Um, I sewed it together, and glued it, glued the ends together and stuck it in. Only it was not right. I don't know what it was to be honest with you. It, perhaps it was the fact that I glued them to glued the ends of the plow plate together. They just one was really loose and one was really stiff. And it just wasn't working. And um one of them actually broke. One of the plow plates, I mean, actually broke broke apart. So I started again from scratch. You know, called that uh, Plan A, and did the same again. But I wanted to use thicker plow plate, and I thought, should I just glue the thin? It doesn't have to be thin plow plate here, as you can see. Then perhaps glue that to a thicker piece, and that can be the bit that goes in the model. And then, but no, you're just getting it, making it overly complicated now. So I thought I'll do the same again. But I will make it thinner, not the thickness of the plate, but the actual th width of the strip. Made it really long, so it goes all the way back into the, the back of the model. And um, it worked. I didn't glue it together. I just slid, slid it in, kept cutting it down to the, to the longest possible length. And now it works. I'm not pretending it's the best possible solution. I'm sure some of you guys out there would come up with a better idea. But come on, you can see it works. Put you back. Really should invest in a, getting a tripod or something for this. Anyway, and the V fin. The V fin. That's it, that's that done. He's making efforts. There. As good as I'm going to get on camera. Oh, shoot, before I forget. Sorry, before I forget. There. Hated myself if I'd forgotten that. The chest cannon. So, open these up. So yeah, it's what makes the chest break different. And the original Visaga always had the middle cannon, and then had those two. So now it's got three cannons. Clear orange. And there we go. Showing you from all black piping, the same black as uh, on the rest of the kit. That I completely forgot about when I did it. And I painted it gold. A little bit of gun, met um, yeah, gun metal in there. 
More piping. Oh, there he is. I know I said in my last video that I will show you the 1100 scale focus. Ah, oh, come on, you stupid thing. Stupid thing. I'll show you the 1100 scale of this, which I'm very, very proud of actually. Very nice. And if you bear with me a second, I'll go and get that and we will compare the two. Be right back. And there it is. The 1 100th. This is uh, done in metallic blue. Tammy is metallic blue, all hand painted. That gold's hand painted. The red is a Humbrol Ferrari red gloss with a gloss coat over the top. The uh, metallic green cameras, the wings are metallic black and then uh, enamel uh, silver over the top. And I like this, I've got some clear orange there, same clear orange as before. Difference is this guy comes with weapons, weapon there, weapon there, that's there, it's a little gun that does split in two. And uh, that's clear orange plastic. There's no stickers at all on this, on any of them, either of them, in fact. Look, sticky sheet completely full. I never use stickers anymore. The articulation on both kits is the same. Yeah, I've shown you the, the wings on the little one. Different wings on the, the big one. The chest. There's no chest movement at all on them. The, on them it's fixed. The only thing it can do is up and down. It can't. Can this one swivel? This one might be able to, to swivel. Let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, this one has got chest rotation. That one has not. There was some nasty clicking sounds then, I don't know what, what that was. Other than that, the articulation on the kit's the same, essentially it's the same. It's just, uh, that one is the mid-season upgrade, they've given the baddies an upgrade. And that's what I think Wing started that. And some nice panel lining, this one I'm really proud of. It's all uh, metallic black, the same metallic black, uh, well, the same, same enamel from Humbrol, metallic black. And I did some silver lining on the wings. Whereas the uh, the little one, that's really flimsy, really loose, and really you can see on the head, you know that head's not cooperating at all. It's completely loose. This one is sturdy as a rock. This one I could throw it at you, and it wouldn't budge. I've been stuck in the same pose since the start of the year, since I finished it, and it is not budged. It is not fallen over. It is, I don't know if it's because I've painted it and because I've used gloss paints, it's all tightened up. But it, it's, it's perfect. If you see this, we see this kit, get it. Very rare these days. They're re-releasing some of um, the, the, the Gundam X and Double X kits. But this is definitely one to look out for. It's about as perfect as any of the, the 1100 high grades were or could be. So great detail. Seam lines were an absolute joy to get rid of. You know, mean seam lines, not friends. Even on the shoulders, you can go back on my channel and look at the work in progress for this. I was very annoyed at the, um, the shoulders on the seam lines. But enough about that. What do you think? What do you think? I've got the original in Shah Red and the upgrade in Hyakushiki Gold. That's nice. And uh, hopefully, I will show sure, you. Display these together. Hopefully, if this one survives with its head, I might put some blue tack in there to sort it out. But otherwise, very happy. I'm not showing you the back there. The wings, because I really like the way the, the back of the wings came out. I did a, a silver base, 
sprayed over it with metallic black and if you spray it over lightly enough you don't really have to go over it with panel lining at all it just the black sort of clings to the middle that's good little still gold detail in there the inside there that's actually um, like a dark orangey browny rust colour I thought faded why not it's nice with some green piping piping detail on this is much nicer on this one around the waist it's just easier to build easy everything so not to say this little one's bad you just need to work all these little ones need work you know, this was kind of this is what number 10 in the series one of the very last of this type the turn a ones are very different they were a lot different same sort of idea but i just felt there's more quality in them but, and this was one of the last of the uh, old uh 100 high grades anyway anyway there's not much more i can uh, say to this hasn't already been said what do you think? Please, uh, please leave me, a, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. Please like, subscribe if you want to. I might go quiet for a while because I'm doing a. My next project will be the Hobby Link TV's contest, and I'm going to try and do a, a thing. I'm not going to go into too much detail in case you get disqualified, but uh, I'm going to be upping my game for that. Doing a big, big, big thing. Hopefully I won't screw it up. If you want to follow me on that, you know, I've told you before, I'm, I'm a, at Big Rich on Hobbylink.tv. Yeah, that guy's my avatar, he can't really miss me. Coincidentally, I've just unlocked him on Gundam. The target in sight finally got him. Really pleased with myself. Anyway, so um, I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Leave a comment and I will respond. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you later. Bye.